Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough or rather the aftermath uh, which is now the veterans mode of insane difficulty. I still figured a couple more bonus episodes would be fun. I'm not sure when I'm going to stop uh, this. For me at the moment uh, the game still remains to be a lot of uh, fun and Kind of that collection of supreme loot actually started to uh, tickle on me. I want to get uh, more of it. But today we're effectively getting one more veteran level. Whatever that exactly means, I am not yet sure. We are going to go on to a mission called Fear uh, Fiery Archer, uh, where we got to explode volatile emulsion supplies again. And uh, would say we're deploying our standard team in uh, this regard. I wouldn't want to go oh well that's definitely not our standard team our standard team uh, being typically gabe um, typically uh, sit as always i would like to go with our sniper michaela and i like quincy i mean i would still want him on the team maybe i can get him to level eight getting that dual build that i uh, wanted where we uh, where we do have ultimate shot and the overwatch build in in one that would be fantastic but it seems the levels are getting slower and slower we have a few others that could uh, soon get some more levels there is no fantastic loot um, in this mission but uh, we're getting a veteran level for whatever that's worth It's an emulsion stash the grubs are prepping for their usual bullshit. Blow it with an explosive charge and take out whatever resistance you find. All right, we're going to do exactly that. Here we go again. Fiery Archer. Let's go, baby. I could replace Sid with... Um, our scout is potentially a better choice just from a pure damage perspective but I somehow got a, a soft spot for him I don't know having a tank makes uh, the engagement sometimes more easy so this here looks like a fantastic spot we've fought on that exact map already they are um, seemingly recycling some of those we got three epic cases yeah, we got a lot of uphill battle ahead of us but this map in itself already could be a challenge let's go with extra actions because why not Doing good jack and let's really get in and see if we can find someone Emma Burst Drone, Deviant Disciple, okay. Well, let's dance. Exactly, let's dance. Need a lift? Out of commission. Okay, got some more drones. Deviant Disciple, Deviant Disciple. Nice. Well, that's what I call an aggressive start. The question now is going to be how to follow up uh, the charge in and hit everybody on the head tactic is great but it has a few disadvantages if you can't follow up correctly i think we're going to make it about the heavy this time quincy moves in Let's give Quincy some more agency. Little boost for you. There we go. Now I think we're going to put this one out here uh, because all of them are nicely suppressed. Wow, he also killed someone. Unbelievable. That 
would be fun. We could we could force uh, them to leave uh, their cover. I'm listening. There's a bit of a play that you could do. Uh, I could overwatch now and then force them to leave cover. But we just want to they stall them fast. for now. Ready. On my way. We're moving up. And time to move up. Next turn we can put out some auras. I could already give the heavy aura over here. Eyes open. We have disrupt on all of them. Oh no, uh, I took disrupt away from Sid. But yeah, we got this definitely disrupt on the heavy. This here will be a cross overwatch and just in case someone else is coming, we do have definitely disrupt on uh, Diaz. Watch it! Here they come! Well, that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Funnily enough, he immediately died. Not so funny, we uh, used all of our three overwatch shots on him. We got three for one now, which is great. I see you. There's the interrupt we were hoping for. Yeah, we're poisoned. Not a big deal. Alright, I was wondering if if right, it's just the, uh, these few guys here. Well, I, uh, if we're going to see more. Yep. The answer is we're going to see more. And like I mentioned, a bit of a problem is we gotta continue. We gotta continue running everybody in. That's when you're moving in too fast. You you're leaving everybody else behind. Ten percent chance. What do we have here? Is that a Cantus? No, it's a Zealoth. He's going to try to to charge towards us. Uh, so is the ticker. <laughs> Moving into a nice overwatch position, so I that's see. one. <laughs> Moving up. Let's use the heavy aura for some more overwatch damage thanks jack and we're hiding afterwards Ready. see you jack keeping watch good we're poisoned ergo Rope less track. damage but a grenade still hits nice and hard Good. We could demoralize this guy to come into our direction, or we're just doing the obvious uh, thing, which over is here. overwatching. What I like about this team is the playstyle is really straightforward, but effective at the same time. Like Sid here could take quite a bit of damage, it's not going to bother him too much. Oh, we can revive him? They're reviving. Oh, interesting. They never learn. Yeah, that was a nice interruption. I see him. Keep on going. You can shoot it. Let's pour it on, people. See, and uh, one great thing about Intimidate is, right, you can Time's up, use it, everybody just loses their uh, their focus. Good. 
Let's use sniper aura. And whilst we're at it, board aura. Jack's just using all of the auras. Jack's cloaked. Explosive shot. 50-50. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't kill anyone. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. This, on the other hand, very much is going to kill uh, kill one. 40%. What is the big problem here? Okay, evasion, I get it. Obstructions, I am in disagreement with What's that, next? but I guess the game is right. Get after it now. Good. Some more damage. We're uh, reducing. We're reducing the evasion. Well, that was a lucky critical hit. I was about to say, uh, by shooting, we would be reducing the evasion. Down and out. Shot wide. Good. Thanks to Jake's aura, we're getting more and more to hit chance. Low on ammo. I said thanks to his aura, we're getting more and more to hit chance. There we go. Free reload. Extra AP. Sniper is still kicking it. Sniper is still killing it. Ready. Uh, we do have more grenades. Might as well just get ready of the Bursa, because why not? Who's next? Reporting. So this would um, let us be hit by Overwatch. Distracting him. 50% less damage. Yeah, and that would uh, get us out of cover. That would be a, not a smart move. Instead, let's just reload. We can very much deal with uh, this here. On the lookout. At uh, the same time, closing down this side. Got my eyes and we got plenty of overwatch. But even if he would run up, um, up to Diaz, there's nothing really that he can do. See, and that's what I like about that team. Strong positional advantages. I'm listening. Okay, in all fairness, uh, the enemy didn't necessarily excel in their strategic thinking here. Reporting. Uh huh. I'm ready. Nah, I don't want to go through the uh, through the mine. That would not be advisable. Affirmative. Instead, that ticker will die soon. I totally love that new Supreme mod that allows you to fully reload during Ready Overwatch. He's always starting with a fully reloaded gun, even after taking a lot of Overwatch shots, and that is fantastic. Setting up a kill zone. I'm ready for it. That's what you 
Jet. Safety's off. Bunch of horse shit. Back in your hole. Okay. That was good. That was very good. What's next? Right. Moving up, ignoring the grenade Knowledge. for a moment. Okay. And yeah, with him dying this turn, should have potentially killed him with uh, with Diaz here, because he always needs kills to level up faster. Moving. See, and except with the exception of Jack, no one else really used a lot of cooldowns. The cooldowns of Mikala are already um, well back up. This team definitely is strong. It feels like Comfort should maybe try it at the time without uh, without our Let's heavy, uh, not without the heavy, uh, without the um, Vanguard here and exchange it for more firepower with the scout. I'll test that the next time. Because that would be the potentially strongest team that we could field at this point. Eliminate all of the grubs. Well, that shouldn't be that difficult. We pretty much pushed uh, through the first wave. Ready. Quite zealously. Okay, well, I should not be that cocky. There are a few sniper drones here. We're rushing in with the sniper, I want to get high ground next turn. Because the moment that we can take that high ground here, we can start invading. Equally, sniper needs cover. And finally our front line moves in. Gabe covers. And Jack just normally moves up. Moving in. Should have potentially given everybody an extra action. There's a Zealoth here. Quite a few snipers. And this here would be a perfect opportunity for the scout to shine. Okay, this in itself is a problem with his with his positioning there. And our inability to throw a grenade up. Um, that is also a bit of an issue. Well, this here would work, right? Okay, that would work. Good, perfect time for lock and load. Got some can do spirit. Secondly, we're going to put some extra back, time on the sniper because they are going to hopefully carry it. And thirdly, we're putting teamwork on the sniper because I want action units you. back. Heavy reporting in. Good. Equally so, don't have the sniper aura yet. 
But we can give an Overwatch aura. Nice one, Jack. We can move up and let's send over two extra action points. Good, more action, uh, more damage from heated up. This is the round where it counts. I uh, didn't know I just have. Yeah, well, I had a good place to throw that grenade. Something along the lines of throwing it all the way back here. I'm not mistaken. Wait, oh yeah, there it was. Good. Run gun, 50% extra damage on top of it. That's great. Let's start. 100% crit. Immediately dead. Very good. That's another one of uh, these great shots. Alright. Three down. I would like to reload. Gun so and dry. Got one. That's not an immediate kill, but still good. We're continuing. 95% missed. Okay. One more normal shot. I'll keep this guy here for a bit later. we go now ultimate shot this should be a kill and refresh of the action points there we go action points refreshed all right continuing our rampage <laughs> okay, that was a crazy uh, action. We got two actions left, uh, which means time to, go the extra mile. time to search. Reloading here. Reloading. And continuing our rampage. Oh, we missed a 95% shot. Really? Yep. Yep, really. Heading out. <laughs> Fuck off. Loki can't believe that we're uh, missing, uh, that we have missed that shot. Heavy on but yeah, I suppose we did.
Good. Even if we miss, this is still going to force them to stay where they are, but we're not missing. And that's a good one. Headed there now. Good. We're not done yet. Time's up. We're not done yet. As I mentioned, another 90% shot. There we go. That's what's going to get us back in action. Seven hundred. No, that's not a hundred percent kill. But it's not getting any better from here. Might as well try to kill him. Done that. Got the action back. Fifty-fifty against this guy. Seventy percent. Time to kill him. Ah, you can't have it all. But it was a good run. It was a really good run. So she killed. Okay. She killed effectively like what? Uh, Zealot, uh, a berserker, sniper, 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 uh, grub, grub, grub. That deviant hammer burst drone. So that's what eight uh, kills in two iterations. Could have done a ninth one. And was just continuing to be a menace of uh, menace to society where uh, where she was standing. On it. That was an impressive display of teamwork and cooldowns coming together. Let's kill a few of these guys. Let's do this again sometime. Right. Diaz as the master executor should be the one uh, that is executing most of these. Taking out the prize. Good. They are still, down. They are still standing there, the and as long as they are standing, we can Snag some equipment. get the crates. There is one more crate over there. I learned my lesson the hard way. The moment all of uh, them are dead, this mission will be over. Go ahead. Good. Copy. And finally, Diaz here takes out the trash. Hey. Okay. Apparently not. What a mission! What a mission! I really liked uh, how aggressive the sniper went up and then with all of the time units just went to town. One kill after the other. Damage stacked upon damage, critting for 2800 at times. That's a crazy amount of damage. And we've gotten ourselves utility belt shoes. That's that's fantastic loot for our scout. Because that might even reduce 
the grenade cooldown further or give us some interesting abilities with the grenade uh, cooldowns. Did we also get... Oh yeah, we got a promotion on Mikaela. Rightfully so, she had 10 kills. Gabe also got some experience. I like what I'm seeing. And some more equipment there. So, first things first. Those shoes. Utility belt. First time this turn, in case of Freck or Stim Grenade ability, she gets one action. Oh my gosh, like that's a uh, free action on top of um, killing uh, killing them. Wow, oh, this is, that's a strong pair of boots. We're, I want to take her into uh, one of those next missions and um, replace Sid uh, with her. And this here is such a strong uh, sniper build. How could you even make it stronger? Uh, or in other words, is it worth um, to even trade something in? This is, I, I really like the hunter build. So, so strong. So we could get a couple more passives. I like the epiphany idea here that I had originally. What are the ones that are not absolutely necessary? So. Whenever your turn ends and, um, and this turn has not taken a shot, reduce the cooldown of all of the skills. Um, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it allowed us to, to get from A to B and effectively have uh, the skills ready. So I will keep it. This one is perfect. Ultimate shot is great. Run and gun first time. Unit moves in a turn, 50% damage for the turns, higher elevation, also get accuracy. That's great as well. That's a really strong skill. Uh, second chance was helpful, arguably very helpful in, in the last fight. Um, the reloading and the damage bonus, I can see how we... But it is a stacking uh, damage bonus for two turns. And the elusive, you could argue to... Let's say those two could be taken away, but the rest is good. I would just keep it as is. In terms of uh, options here, precision shot, not worth it. In my opinion, it's kind of more of an entry skill. Less than full health, 10% um, critical chance. That is fantastic. That in itself is great. Um, epiphany, I like it. That random, um, whenever the unit downs, uh, random uh, skill has a cooldown reduction. That even in, in in situations like the last turn where we're on a kill streak, this could help us quite a bit. Um, I'm more into alpha than into omega strike because we're that's simply happening more often. The first blood is a good a shot. I begin to appreciate it, but the more usable cooldowns we have, the less impactful Epiphany is. But that extra damage bonus, I, I started to appreciate it. What else do we have up here? When this unit kills an enemy, critical strike, 25% chance it will um, get two actions, but it can only trigger once. And this here, plus one ammo size, we don't really need it. Lucky streak, um, that is fine, but we're almost at 100% crit anyways, and with this here, we would be at 100% crit. So don't really see how this adds a lot of value, which means my decision uh, here would be to effectively drop that elusive um, portion. Means we can be hit easier. Easier, not necessarily easy, but we have plenty of defense anyways. So we would drop that one and instead go for a weak spot for the critical hit bonus and then epiphany so go all the way uh, to here um, and and do that resetting skills yes please we're taking that and 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 that all of them were important and we're going to go for 10 percent extra crit chance and epiphany um for uh, that 
cooldown reduction. And I can very much see how this build continues to dominate. The only thing that we've lost is the evasion bonus, but that only against the first shot every single round. Uh, so arguably not that much lost, but definitely more uh, offensive or aggressive power. Precision shot, forget about that for now. Nice to have. In some niche situations I might use it, but I don't see how it really is going to add much value. This year, on the other hand, will uh, will do. Because with weak spot, what we can do, we can stay at 100% uh, crit for the uh, almost for the entire team. Most of the enemies will be out of cover. And Epiphany will allow us to get relatively short cooldowns like Fast Fingers back, which I'm hoping for. Fast Fingers gives us additional actions and reloads so that we're not wasting time there. And maybe it even reduces chain shot uh, to a usable level that again would give us extra action. So something like the last situation where we killed eight or nine or even 10 enemies in one round would mean with this skill here, we would have 10 cooldowns reduced. Um, that could be three times fast fingers. That could be two times chain shot. So who knows uh, that uh, the setup hopefully is going to work well. Um, that's great. Let's take a peek at our missions. And ooh, look at that. So much supreme loot. We need we need to do that. Enemies take 90% less damage from explosions. Well, I can... Oh, and that's one unit maximum. I... It's not going to be a scout. Um, it is not going to be a scout. Uh, we got to think about whom we're uh, taking here. One unit maximum on, on almost all of them, with the exception of this. And you guys know how I feel about um, uh, the bigger missions. I, I like them more. Deploy this mission without any heavies. Yeah, I'll deploy it with, um, with heavies and not without them. Uh, scratch that epic. I want the um, supreme loot. Yeah, we're going to look at those missions a bit more in detail in our next episode i hope you still enjoy veteran mode i definitely am liking it i don't yet know what the veteran levels are about and i don't want to look it up online but we're now at veteran level one yay um, and eventually that or potentially this is going to uh, make missions more difficult what i'm gathering is the side missions is what really counts because there you get the supreme loot and this veteran mode no clue. Um, I don't. I don't know if that really makes the missions any more difficult. I, I'm not seeing harder enemies. The modifiers are slightly harder at best, but yeah, your units gain 10% of their maximum health at the start of your turn. I don't know how this is going to make the mission more difficult. It makes it easier, if anything, unless you're starting with 10%. I don't know. Okay, we're going to see you guys uh, the next time for now. Um, let's say bye-bye out of the land of Gears Tactics. If you enjoy the content, please leave comments so that I can see uh, that this content is appreciated. And uh, we're going to do a few more of uh, these missions and see where it leads. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye.